this question, um, they give us uh, an atom would have one proton, one electron, separate by 100 picometer, and ask what is the ionization energy using the Coulomb's law, and what wavelength is sufficient, uh, has sufficient energy to separate them. So the law is E, which is the energy to su to sufficient to separate these uh, two charged particles, would be 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 times Q1, Q2, and R over R, which is R is the distance, Q1, Q2 is the charge, uh, epsilon 0 is the constant. In this case, we have epsilon 0 equal 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Q1, Q2 will be have, will have the same absolute value because they are a proton and an electron, and the value will be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 column. Um, so put all of those information in here, we will have E will be equal to 1, 4 pi, 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Uh, the Q1, Q2 square in this case is a square because they have the same absolute value uh, with a minus because they have different charge, one positive, one negative. Uh, the distance is 100 uh, picometer converted into meter um, is... Uh, uh, 10 to the minus minus 10. So the product of this is 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18 joule. And we know that energy of light will be equal, equal to uh, HC over wavelength. So where H is the, is the Planck constant and C is the uh, speed of light. So wavelength equals H, oops, sorry. H, C divided by E. Uh, H is a blank constant, which is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34. June second, uh, wavelength is three time ten to the eight uh, meter per second. So you can see that this cancel. And E, uh, in this case, is two point three time ten to the minus eighteen joule. So you can see the product of this will be meter, and it is eight point sixty four times 10 to the minus 8 meter, which is 86.4 nanometer.